Good morning. I'm back and this time I wanted to follow up with the tech. So this is USA Today Tech. It was published May 30th. And it's the ham hamburger making robot named Flippy. And he's back at a California or it is back at a California chain. I don't like to I don't like to denote gender to AI, but um, Flippy is back in Pasadena, California. So I'm going to play this video and I'll come back with my commentary. En caso de terremoto, es mejor estar preparado. Gracias a los consejos de SoCal Gas, teníamos un kit de suministros de emergencia. Mandamos a asegurar okay, nuestro ad plan, de agua so. y aprendimos cómo cerrar nuestro medidor de gas. Excuse me for that one moment. And it's in Spanish. Okay, here we go again. Let's taste the robot burger with the all-new and improved Flippy. When last we saw Flippy, Flippy was open for business, but the hamburger flipping robot only lasted one day, got overwhelmed with orders, got retooled, and now Flippy is back in business. Uh, well, I've learned that uh, building autonomous uh, uh, kitchen equipment is hard. Miso Robotics, which built Flippy, improved its flipping accuracy and made it easier to clean. On the day we visited, patrons seemed fascinated by the idea of the robot chef that worked side by side with human beings. Because we've been trained since childhood that robotics are coming in the future. And it's to be a part of it, see it, be able to watch it happen and to be served and watch the product being placed to you. It is absolutely incredible. It's a childhood dream to watch something like this happen and become live in front of you. Why did you want to see Flippy? You know, the concept of having a robot flip your burger is just like awesome. And um, we've been seeing, you know, the buzz. We live around here. So we're like, all right, it's like, we've got to go and see Flippy. So yeah, on our last day, while in the middle of moving, we came to see Flippy. And what do you think? I really like it. I, we are impressed. It's like way better than any other like person because he's cleaning the grill. He's cleaning a spatula. It, the, it looks like they're coming out really perfect. It's and it's fun. Adding the difficulties of cutting edge machine learning technology, um, and then combining that with the difficulty of food service, is a difficult problem. So Flippy the robot hopes to come to a hamburger restaurant near you at some point in 2018. This good to me. From Cali Burger in Pasadena, California, Jefferson Graham, USA Today. Okay, these people are losing their damn mind. Um, let me just go up here and refresh it so it'll stop. <sighs> these people are losing their fuck. <laughs> they're losing their freaking minds, okay? The people they talked to were all of, you know, their group. So I'm not surprised at the way they're responding to a robot. They're, these are not people they talk to who are of the age to be really, well, I actually take that back. They're actually of the age, the people who will be working at fast food restaurants in their 40s, 50s and up, you know, uh, because the economy is slipping so much and they will be the most affected. But to have a robot like Flippy, this woman is, what they had, do they have drugs in the food? Is that why she's, they're speaking this way? These robots are going to replace you. Freaking idiot. And it's in Pasadena. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm like, yeah, what the hell? So I'm not going to go through all of this. It's, the, Flippy was developed by this guy, David Zito. He's the CEO of Miso Robotics. The Flippy robot, the lady said this is awesome and he's better than a human because he's flipping the burger, burger, he's cleaning the grill, he's do, doing it, basically doing everything a human would do or two humans would do. And this guy actually said in the video, David Zito, he said, you know, it's a difficult process to, um, I'm just paraphrasing, um, difficult process to merge the robotics with food service. That's difficult. The only reason why it's difficult is because he hasn't been able to sell it yet. You have to read between the lines. He hasn't been able to sell this product to other corporations yet, yeah, other food service corporations. And I just came to you with a video about the fact that they are allowing employees at different food service companies to go from one location to another. So while the people are struggling to make more money, you have Flippy that doesn't require payment, that doesn't require sleeping, eating, 
taking breaks, taking vacation that doesn't doesn't need to be paid a salary with taxes coming out, doesn't need any kind of book work to be done. You just need to keep him oiled up and ready to go. He's probably battery operated. And if he is battery operated, then you just have to charge the battery at the end of the day. But these people are so infatuated with this artificial intelligence. They don't realize that soon it's not going to just be an arm. It's going to be a whole man, robot, you know, humanoid robot standing there giving orders and telling the other robots what to do. There's going to be a, a manager robot and a bunch of other worker robots working in there. There's going to be more than one. And they don't even get it. They don't even see this coming. You know, people are taking pictures. They're lining up to take photos of the robot. This is Flippy's kitchen. This woman, Louise, she's an idiot. She's an accountant, but she has no sense at all. She's like, we've been trained since childhood that robotics were coming in the future. To be a part of it, to see it and watch it happen live in front of you is absolutely incredible. You're... The fact that you're even standing and talking is incredible because you're an idiot. <sighs> Everyone's giving thumbs up on it. They have National Burger, Burger Day, which is so idiotic. But um, yeah, that's it for me on this robot that's taking over. It will. These things are not going to be uh, just standing. It's not just going to be one thing. They're going to have it where... In the future, the restaurants are just going to be large kiosks and you go and order what you want and it comes out. They're already doing it in Asia. They have it in Japan. I believe they have it in China as well. And um, these people are just going to let this happen. But I'm letting you all know what's going on, how things are changing. And if you have any comments or questions, you know, please let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Oh, goodness. Ugh. Have a great day.